Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to another episode of Slice of Shonen. I am your host, D Cloudy Crone. Today, we'll be reacting to Oshinoko Episode 6. And in the last episode, we had two really cool things happen. The first one is the fact that Kana, or I guess we had three really cool things. The first one is the fact that Kana ended up joining Strawberry Productions. And now that Ruby actually has a partner to go into this with instead of being a solo idol, now they can actually start making moves and one of their first moves is getting their name out there kind of getting promoted and so they ended up working with a famous chicken fitness youtuber guy that promoted them in front of his audience and it was super cool because we got to see them like do a exercise session with him and you could really see just how badly both of them wanted it because that was some intense workout man but they were killing it they did a great job and then the third thing that happened was the fact that uh aqua ended up joining a reality dating tv show so we met a bunch of brand new characters but the biggest question is are these personalities that we see are they the real personalities or is this just them playing it up for the camera because as we saw with one of the girls she seemed very genuine but then it turned out that she was obviously playing it up for the camera so will we ever see the true sides of these other actors I guess we'll just have to watch and find out. So if you guys are excited for the episode, make sure to leave a like. And while you're down there, make sure to hit that subscribe button. We are so, so close to 10K. I can almost taste it. And if every single one of you guys hit that subscribe button, we can knock that goal out in absolutely no time at all. And if you would like to see my uncut reactions, you can find them over on my Patreon, which you guys can join for as low as $2. But with that all out of the way, let's get right into this episode. All right, so here we are back in the show. Oh, and they, you always got to have this moment here where somebody wants to leave. They can't take it anymore. But obviously, I, I'm like 90% sure she's faking this. Like it's just for the camera. Dang, these guys are some good actors, though. They seem genuinely concerned. Will Yuki really step- Wait, hold on, what did it say there? Dude. Will Yuki really step down from the show? A shocking development is in store for those two. Like, oh my god, dude. It's so crazy how it's called reality TV, but it's so fake at the same time, man. Look at this! The bright smile on her face. This is so corny, man. <laughs> Look at that. What? Then what would she call that? Playing up my feelings? So, it's not like she was lying necessarily. Yeah, exactly. Right there, she was just over-exaggerating it. Hmm. Interesting. So, was he implying that this guy, Nobu-kun, is, like, genuine? Dang. They caught her. Yeah, there we go. It's cool to see them spending time together, though. Off camera. あ、あ、そう。<笑> 
Ah, oh, so these are like the luxuries he couldn't enjoy with his old body. So he's kind of living the dream right now. Oh, you're just now realizing that? <laughs> mm, okay, okay. Interesting observation here. Another really good point. Really? Wait, are these their ages? They all look about the same age, but apparently the first girl's 15? Dude, so far a chan might be my favorite. I don't know, man. She just... I like how genuine she seems. Mm. Is he referring to himself? Because so far, like, when he's been talking about everyone else, he said that they've been surprisingly true to their feelings but maybe he himself hasn't and okay so earlier when he was referring to yuki yeah yuki even said herself that she kind of liked nobu but she didn't want to i guess uh go all in because it's in front of a camera Mm, so she's got a whole strategy going into this. The best way to boost her channel's numbers. <laughs> he said, don't get your hopes up. Hey, Man, she carries that notepad everywhere. I want to see what she's got written down in there. Whoa! Is she like reenacting a play? Whoa! What the heck? How many? Like, I don't know. It feels like she has like a bunch of different. I don't know if they're talents, but interests. Oh, he's a manager. Dang. See, yeah, she's trying her best. Ah, oh, man. No. Is she gonna lose herself and she's gonna like pretend to be someone she's not so that she'll stand out more? Mm, okay, giving her some pointers here. Yep. See, that's the. Oh man, that's one of the hardest things about like sponsorships, I feel is like you don't want to bash the product because that might cut you off from future opportunities but you also don't want to lie to your audience ego surf interesting so ego surfing is that like going through like your social media and stuff and looking to see i guess everyone's perception of you or something everyone's talking about yuki and they're bashing akane see i think akane is best girl but that's I think that's because we've seen more of her than the actual camera has, because we've seen her hang out off camera. 
No, not TikTok. <laughs> Twitter and TikTok. Dang, man. And it's so crazy because it makes you wonder when the manga was made. If they're referring to TikTok in here, because TikTok is fairly recent, isn't it? I think it came out in like 2019. Oh. Oh. Camera's rolling. What's she planning? Whoa. Whoa! See, now this is interesting, because she's just trying to stand out. I don't know if she even really likes Nobu like that, but Yuki might start to see this as her trying to take her away, exactly. And this might start some actual beef between them. The show is nearing its end. Okay, at least she's coming clean with her, I guess, strategy. Mm. So she's declaring war here. Oh, here she is, already fighting back. Dang, and it's not even Nobu this time. Oh, this is where she makes her decision, yep. She's going for it. Oh man, what's she gonna do? Is she gonna slap her? Is she gonna snatch him away? Shove her? Oh, snap! Now this is some reality TV we're getting here, man! She didn't mean to, though. But does Yuki know that? Oh? Whoa! Yuki? Dude, she's so cool! What the heck? I feel like we all would have expected her to, like, be mad at that and take it personally. But she seemed to understand exactly why Akane did that. Nah, I think that's far from it. Yeah, she doesn't hate her at all. Whoa, are the cameras rolling? Somebody get this on film! <laughs> this is gold right here. Oh, they're not filming. If they were, though... That would have been a crazy development. Screw Nobu, screw the other guy. Everybody would be shipping these two. But they caught the slap. And look, they're all mad at Akane now. This is... The opposite of what she wanted. Yep. And it's over. So she can't even redeem herself. I mean, granted, her goal was to stand out. The only problem is she ended up standing out as the villain. But hey, everybody loves a good villain. It just sucks, because that's not her. Like, oh, dude. That one comment, out of all of them, that one that said, why are you still breathing? Like, Jesus Christ, man. Yeah, exactly. Because it's like admitting that you did it. Apologize by dying? Jesus Christ. And it's so sad how accurate these comments are, too. Because there are actually people that say this stuff. Over such small things. That's so sad. Like, her whole reputation is just this. Hmm. 
It's like haunting her. Classic girls gossiping. Like, listen to this. <laughs> Jesus. I have the same, like, sick feeling in my stomach that I had in, like, episode one, dude. This is really heartbreaking to see. You can already see it's having a toll, but I'm worried for where she's going to go from here. Whoa, flashback? Dude, what the heck? She's so adorable. Oh, so this is where it all began. She's taking notes. Then putting in the practice. All these comments. Dang, she's worked so hard, man. She really doesn't deserve this. Jesus. Dude, I, I'm just praying someone saves her, dude. Aqua, please, save best girl. I have such a bad feeling. Please save her, dude. Please. Don't break my heart again. Oshinoko, don't do this to me. She's already left. Come on. Please. I am begging you at this point, man. God, Aqua, is this him? Oh my God, what a legend! What a legend! Oh my God! Oh my God, what a legend, dude! Oh my God, that was oh so good! What a fantastic episode, man! Holy crap! Aqua, man! The hero! Oh, man! <laughs> I'm about to tear up over here, dude! My dream, my wish came true! I was hoping that someone would come in and save her, and of course my boy Aqua pulled through! Oh my god, my heart right now. It feels like it's beating at like a hundred beats per minute. Oh my god. Actually, a hundred beats per minute is probably pretty low, but you know what I mean. Oh my god. What a good show. Alright, so that was the end of the episode, and another thing that I just wanted to point out really quick that I thought was really cool that they did was the fact that at the end of the episode, I don't know if they do this every episode, but I think it's really cool that they added the fact that, like, this is a work of fiction, and if you or someone you know is struggling with mental health issues, and then they give you the hotline and everything, I think that's actually really cool. The fact that they're showing that this is just shown for the sake of telling a story. And if you actually are struggling with these sort of issues, that there are ways that you can go out there and get help. So I, I do like mad respect for the studio behind this for putting that in there. I think that's really cool. But 
What a fantastic episode, dude. And my question of the day for you guys is going to be, I guess, how how were you feeling during this episode? What were your thoughts that were like racing through your head? Because you already know mine. I was saying them all out loud. But dude, it's just so sad because I loved Achan. She was so cool. Like, even though we didn't get to see her too much, especially before this episode, just after the little bit that we saw, I already knew, like, okay, I'm gonna like her. Like, she seems really cool. And then, I love how the episode focused on her, and again, this series did a phenomenal job of highlighting the good and bad of the entertainment industry. The fact that even though she's, like, a kind, nice, wholesome girl that's actually worked extremely hard to get where she is right now, the like societal pressures and the business side of everything was pressuring her to kind of be someone that she wasn't and so she tried doing that and it ended up blowing up in her face and now all these people are like taunting her and harassing her online and saying the absolute worst things that they can possibly imagine and it was about to drive her to that point but luckily aqua was here to save her and dude that is so so key man like oh man I'm, I'm literally about to tear up here but if you have a friend that you know is going through something rough please please dude reach out to them please do even if you are in a bad mindset as well reaching out to them making sure that they're okay just being that person for them is so so huge even if you don't have anyone that can be that person for you just try to be that person for someone else and like dude you could you could save someone's life it's so crazy it's so crazy i love this series this episode was so real that it's actually like chilling how real this episode was and how like it it like kind of hit me on a bit of a personal level but i loved it and i'm sure many of you guys did as well so let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below but with that i am going to head out thank you all so much for watching this far into the episode and i will catch you all in the next one have a good one